people who know me know that I love analogies. I love analogies because I'm a visual person. And when somebody tells me a story, it sticks in my brain. And I, go, I always think, okay, Jesus told everything he did through analogy. So there must be something there. I'm not crazy. But I want to share an analogy that I use all the time in my life to help keep me balanced. And I call it the washing machine analogy. And I actually heard it in church, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. And um, the woman who got up, she said, you know, sometimes when your life gets out of balance, you have to think of it like a washing machine. She said, you know, when your washing machine, when you put things in there and for whatever reason it gets unbalanced and you hear it from across house and it's doing that loud, like thud, thud, thud sound. And you're, you go running for it because it's this awful, almost violent sound. And what do you do? You open up the lid, you stop the machine, you have to take everything out and then you put it in piece by piece by piece and you get it recentered again. And that's exactly what we have to do sometimes in our lives. Sometimes in our lives, we feel like we are in the washing machine and we're being thrown this way and that way. And emotionally, we are just all over the place and we're spinning and we're going so hard and so fast that we don't know which way is up. We don't know which way is down. And how do we, how do we get grounded? We're in the middle of this, this, this spinning, the storm. And it's the washing machine analogy. We have to stop. We have to breathe. We have to look at everything in our life, everything that's sending us every direction and take it all out and go, what needs to go back in and what needs to go back in first? And for me, it's God. If God's not in there first, and almost every time that I'm feeling completely out of control, somehow, and, it, and they're usually for good reasons, somehow God has slipped out of whack. And so that's my number one, is I got to get centered with God again. So I put God in, get centered with God. And then I have to put in myself, my self-care. And this is the one that I struggle the most with. I have to tell myself regularly that self-care is not selfish. Self-care is not selfish. Self-care is crucial if you are going to fill your cup and hope to pour into other people's cups and to help them. You have to take care of yourself. You have to fill your cup. And it's not selfish. And it needs to be something that's done every single day. When I think of my self-care, it's spiritual, emotional, physical. I have to hit those three every single day. And the funny thing is, is it doesn't have to be this huge thing. It doesn't have to be where you're going to be like, okay, I need to schedule 40 minutes here and 20 minutes here and 10 minutes here. Sometimes my self-care is simply shutting the door to my bedroom, closing my eyes and going, that's it. When I consciously have decided that something is self-care, you see it totally differently. Even if I walk from my front door down to my bed box, it's like two houses down. And that is a conscious, just as me taking care of myself, there's something that happens with that, that conscious decision that I am taking care of myself. Sometimes I just go outside my back door and I breathe in the sunshine and I go, this is, this is self-care. And that conscious decision. So even if you're taking one minute, two minutes, 20 minutes, two hours, however you need to do it, but that regular everyday self-care is the next thing that I put back in my washing machine. And then from there, it really depends on where I'm at, whether it's I'm taking care of my kids' needs or I have needs at church or I have things with my job. Everyone will be different what order and how things go back into their washing machine. But it's that slowing down. It's stopping the machine. It's getting rebalanced. So next time in your life that you feel yourself and you're not washing machine setting all over, slow down, stop the machine, breathe, you got this.